good YouTube, it's your boy Svendi and today I am bringing you on a nice little ride in my lovely Apache helicopter, that's right. For those of you that may not know, this is some Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay and uh, I started recording a little bit after I started playing. Now I was pretty disappointed that I started recording a little bit later because I was talking to Nate Gould last night. We were in a nice little Skype conversation, chatting for like an hour, like a bunch of little schoolgirls. And, uh, you know, Nate's moving, getting ready to move from New Jersey down to South Carolina, and I definitely want to wish him the best of luck. I, uh, you know, I really admire what he's doing, especially at the age that he is, and I think it's a pretty great thing. So, uh, you know, we were chatting about that and talking about some other stuff with the original Gamer Channel, a nice little adventure that we are starting on. A couple of other things that uh, me and Nate recently just got a big opportunity with, which will be discussed with you guys maybe in the next couple of days, hopefully. So, uh, anyways, Battlefield Bad Company 2, playing some Rush. I was just playing by myself in this game. I, uh, we were the attacking team. I picked up this helicopter. Now, a lot of people that I play with in random lobbies do not know how to fly helicopters. The helicopter on Battlefield Bad Company 2 is nothing like flying a helicopter on Black Ops with a gunship. It's nothing like flying a helicopter in home front. It is far more realistic, thus being far harder. A lot harder. You know, but once you get used to it, you can see right here I'm doing a pretty decent control or a pretty decent job on controlling it, uh, you know, making passes back and forth, which is definitely the key on Battlefield when you have a helicopter, just kind of making passes. Do not want to stay mobile for too long because there are anti-air guns and the people with individual rocket launchers that will take you down with no problem. I actually just got a couple of really, really good clips with me taking down helicopters in Battlefield and Black Ops, actually, with an RPG, which is... A lot harder to do than with anything else. I know there's like, you know, the Stinger in Modern Warfare 2 and the Strela 3 in Black Ops. And, you know, the anti air lock on missiles are easy to take aircrafts on with, but with an RPG, it takes a lot of skill. <clears throat> and it's not just skill you're going to pick up overnight, it's something you got to practice on. It's all about anticipation and uh, kind of being able to predict your opponent's next move. So, I'll definitely show you guys some of those in the near future, but, um, this game I started off with a helicopter and I was absolutely destroying people. I had a couple of my teammates spawn on me a couple of times and man the guns, but for the most part I was by myself. You know, I was pretty disappointed because there was a point, I don't know, actually, you know what, I don't, oh wait, maybe the boss is when I get shot down, yeah. There was actually a time before this when the helicopter got damaged and I actually landed it and repaired it and I was so pissed off that I did not start recording at the beginning of this match because it's it's a lot harder than you think and it's, it's pretty cool I did some really cool stuff with it beforehand but you know I come right back into the game right here spawn and I pick up the UAV so you're gonna get to see how okay, some of that, that works in battlefield as well this is how it is meant to be used and this is how effective it can be if you do not take it down so if you're on the opposing side of things and you see a UAV in the air do not hesitate to take it down because I do a lot of damage not even, you know, racking up kills, but do a lot of damage helping my team spot players and bringing down buildings as well. So, that's pretty much the gameplay for today. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of different things. First things first, new channel. It's uh, pretty much part of the original gamer's name. It's called the Original Gamers YouTube Network. This is going to be something that uh, is going to be big. I do not start any channels with the attitude that I'm going to get huge and I'm going to be successful, but I'm not saying I'm going to be successful and be the next Woody's Gamer Tag from this, but it is going to be a huge thing within the community. you got to think there are hundreds, even thousands, even tens of thousands of small channels on YouTube that specialize within the gaming community. Tons and tons of these channels looking for their shot to uh, get some exposure, get some recognition, and that's what this channel is going to do. It's not going to be another community channel. So many people out there are doing these community channels and directors' channels, and I give them, you know, hats off because it's a lot of work, and I really came to realize that with the original gamers' directors' channel. But um, over there on that channel, they're doing it a little bit differently than a lot of other channels do, and that's why I believe that that one will be successful. 
but this YouTube network channel is something for any commentators, whether you have 10 subs or 1,000 subs, something for anybody to get involved in, something that is going to give these channels a lot more exposure and really give them the recognition that they deserve. So, uh, a, a movie's gonna be, or a video is gonna be posted up on that channel today, kind of explaining everything. So, I'll post the link to that channel in the description below. And if you guys are a smaller channel and you're looking to get your name out there, I would definitely recommend you checking it out. It's not going to uh, involve anybody making videos for that channel in particular or anything like that. It's gonna basically be, you know. You guys are going to do your regular everyday videos and it's going to bring those videos a lot of exposure. Now the way we are doing this does not, and I want to repeat this because I know there's some people that are fond of the whole sub for sub and box for box thing. This channel has nothing to do with those, Sven D has nothing to do with those, and I want nothing to do with those. It's not the way that YouTube should be done and that's not the way I'm going to start doing things. So um. It's called the Original Gamers YTN for the Original Gamers YouTube Network. Link is in the description. I recommend you go check it out. If you're a smaller channel, I would definitely subscribe because it's going to help you out a lot. Now I got another person, another two people running the channel with me. That is going to be Nichols VGT and the Googleizer. And uh, we got some really big plans in store for everything. And uh, you know, if there's ever an idea, that I had that I really thought would make it, this is it. It really is. Me and Nate were on the phone, not on Skype, but just talking on the phone yesterday for like 45 minutes about this, and um, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be bigger than anything I've ever been involved with personally on YouTube, and I'm pretty confident to say that, and so are they. So uh, just something to keep a lookout for. Um, I back 1779, he had a video go up on the Original Gamers Director's channel, so make sure to swing over there, check that out. Um, that channel is actually doing extremely well. In the first week of actually uploading videos, getting in the normal flow of things, we are almost at 100 subs, which is pretty promising, something I'm really excited for. I looked at the channel, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday, maybe even the day before, and we had like 71 to 75 subs, somewhere in that area. And I look at it today and we're at 90. <laughs> So to experience that kind of growth for a smaller channel is very promising, something I, uh, I'm i really happy to see for those guys over there, because there's a lot of great commentators over there, and they all bring a unique set of skills to the table, so IBEX1779, go check them out. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to somebody that you guys may be familiar with, he, uh, he is a subscriber of mine as well as a commentator and he does a lot of great things on YouTube, he's really down to earth, and listen to this, this is not something you're going to come across every day on YouTube, this dude plays with a one sensitivity on Black Ops, a one sensitivity, and his KD is astronomical. I don't even want to drop an exact number because I'm not 100% sure. I know I have heard it before, but it was something that absolutely blew my mind. It, I th I'm pretty sure it was higher than a 3 three or 4. I don't know. Maybe it was joking on that video. But I want to say that I was either told or I saw that he has right around a 5 KD out of 1 sensitivity. That is not something easy to accomplish. That is pseudo support. Mr. Plus 80 himself. He really came through big for the original gamers channel. We had uh, a little issue, and uh, we needed a video to get up for the day, and things ended up working themselves out, but he still went through and got us a video, so we're going to be uploading that next Thursday on the Original Gamers Director channel, make sure to keep an eye out for that, and I'm actually going to post a link to his channel in the description as well, so there's going to be a lot of stuff in this description, I would definitely appreciate if you guys would go check it out, and uh, you know, show him some love, tell him Sven D. Sencha. And, uh, yeah, so let's pseudo-support Mr. Plus 80 himself. So, um, you know, I almost want to say that that is pretty much going to wrap everything up for this commentary. I know that I went, um, what do you call it, AWOL for a couple of days. I didn't go AWOL, but I haven't been posting any videos when I, like, got, I got, like, three or four videos ready. I actually rendered them out and they're ready to upload, but I just didn't uh, upload any of them for some reason. A lot of Brink gameplay, a Black Ops commentary, and another Battlefield commentary. So, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, the next video I'm going to be bringing you, since I just did Brink, is probably going to be some L.A. Noir. I uh, want to give you guys some insight on that game and let you know what I think about it. It is an awesome game, and you 
you guys should definitely check that out. So, I think I'm going to start wrapping things up, guys. This is Sven P putting in some work with some aircrafts, the wonderful Apache helicopter, and the UAV. Look at this little remote control helicopter spotting people, laying down targets with a Predator drone. Gotta love it. But anyways, guys, until next time, it's your boy Sven D, and I will catch y'all later. Peace.